Hey guys, what's up? It's your boyfriend Poop J here with Damn Gamers, and today I'm gonna tell you guys my first day of high school because school is coming up for all you youngsters. So get your books, get your marijuana, sit down, relax, and get ready to hear my experience with the first day of high school. All right, let's quit the jacking off and get right into it. So. It was 1992. What can I say? Kurt Cobain was still alive. The Beatles were still alive. Fucking Hitler was still alive. It was a glorious time in my life. Long live the 90s. If you're in a 90s kid, just kill yourself right now. Anyway, that being said, it was 92. It was August. My mom squeezed my nipples, got me right up out of bed. She grabbed my testicles. That was, you know, another story for another day. And uh, I ate some cereal. If you uh, don't ask me what kind of cereal it was, because I don't remember. All right, all the meth I've done has fried my brain. So anyway, I got on the bus, sat next to the kid I always sit next to, Joe. Joe's a really hot guy, so so lucky I got to sit next to him. Um, at this point, though, he was not considered hot. I mean, I thought he was always a cutie. He had a really nice booty, so you know I always give that a squeeze or two in the morning. But yeah, at this point in his life, people didn't see how hot he really was. They didn't see the cutie that lived in his booty. But, um, yeah, I sat next to him. Uh, at, he was playing his Game Boy. I was like, what a faggot. So I grabbed his Game Boy and shoved it right up in his wiener. So, um, I guess that's why they called him Square Dick Joe. But that is another story for another day. So, uh, anyway, we arrived at the high school. It was excellent. The right, second I got off the bus, though, these two big guys came out of fucking... Out of nowhere, it seemed like. And they just grabbed my dick and just pulled it off and threw it across the school. And I was just like, damn it, man. Really? And they're just like, welcome to high school. Freshman dick face. <laughs> anyway. Now, you know, that was cool. I mean, you know, it was nice meeting some people. And then, you know, we went into this. I went into the school. At this point, Joe went to the hospital. Because apparently you can't have a Game Boy in your wiener and survive for very long. Whatever. But yeah, I was inside the school. Uh, I went to my first class, which was Jim, and not Jim like the guy who I blew. I mean, Jim like Jim class, uh, PE, physical education. I went in there to the gymnasium, and there was my hot lesbian uh, gym teacher. Her name was Mrs. Cynthia Farrick, and holy shit, oh my god, her nipples were so fucking big. Her. Her nipples were bigger than her body, and I sucked on them the whole class. So, that was Jim. After Jim, I decided to go take a smoke break, so I went outside to the girls' bathroom. And, uh, I grabbed some meth, and then I smoked a little bit of meth, and then some girl came in. Some girl who... Ah, uh, man, I, I love this girl so much. If she wasn't dead right now, she'd probably be my wife. Uh, she's dead because I killed her in that moment because she screamed so loudly that the principal would have hear heard me So I punched her right in the nose which ended up breaking her nose which ended up getting into her You know her brain and then she died which was weird because I thought I wasn't that strong but anyway uh, After that I had to go to my second class which was earth science earth science is uh well, I don't remember much of the class because, you know, my teacher was a hot male and I just masturbated the whole entire class period. Uh, he didn't seem to mind, so I did it for, you know, the whole class. The whole the whole year, really. But, you know, that's that's attractive for another day. Now, next after that, it was lunchtime. Lunchtime, crunch time. And lunch, for most high schoolers, is a pretty traumatic experience. Because, you know, that's when the bullies ask for lunch money. That's when the girls finger their pussies. That's when I put my fist in my asshole and run. But, um, this was different this year, you know? This was different than middle school. This was, uh, this was something special, in my honest opinion. Uh, I grabbed my food, my luncheon, as I like to call it, from the lunch line. It was a uh, fried goat cock, and it was honestly not bad, not gonna lie. And, um,. The lunch ladies were kind enough to put not one, not two, but three of their pubes onto it, which was just glorious. Thank you so much, lunch ladies. Rest in peace, all of you. Now, 
I went over to the lunch. I went over to the table. You know, I tried finding a place to sit. I had no friends. I mean, it may be hard for you guys to believe now, but I was a really unpopular guy in school. Uh, everyone knew me as the guy who did a lot of drugs and um, and had anal sex unprotectedly and gave people STDs all the time. But this was, you know, this was a dark time in my life. Not gonna lie. So I couldn't find a place to sit. So I sat on the floor where I stood. And, um, you know, people walked by and they spat on me. And one girl, she, you know, she pulled out her vagina and slapped her pussy lips all over my face. And that was kind of uncomfortable. But I, I did it, guys. I did what most kids are afraid to do. And, you know, at that point in my life, I invented the Harlem Shake. And that was me. I don't give a fuck what you think! So after lunch, I had to go to my next class, which was World History. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, history is a bunch of bullshit, basically. It's like people telling you things they think happened, but they don't know happened. Like, if I want to know my history, I'll watch the History Channel, okay? I don't need a class about this. So, you know, I was already a little angry and aroused, so I went to my next class. Lo and behold, I had another male teacher, so... What else was I going to do? So, you know, whip my dick out. But then I realized something when I did this. While my cock was still sitting in my... Resting in my hand ever so gently, I looked across the room, and there was another boy doing the same thing. And that's when I met my good friend, Gredge. You know, if you, if you guys have seen my video of, you know, first time I went to a party, Gredge, that's, that's where I met him. You know, I realized something at that point in my life too. Joe was in the class. He made it. Joe made it, guys. Victor. Which is so good because ah, Joe's a great guy. So is Gredge. So is Greg. So am I. Everyone's cool. I love all of you guys. So, you know, that class ended. And I had one more class to go. I was getting really hyper because I was going to go home and I was going to beat off into my cereal. But. You know, I had one more class, and my last class was mathematics. So I went into my math class. My teacher was a female, which was kind of interesting. Yeah, but at this point in the day, I wasn't really feeling like learning, you know? I didn't feel like getting all the papers I needed to get signed, to, you know, to get school started, all the legal stuff in case the teachers molested me. So I didn't, you know? I started chanting, we're not going to take it. You know, we're not gonna take it, we're not gonna take it. So at this point in my life, you know, that song was really, really popular. Everyone loved him. Everyone loved me. Everyone loved men. It was great. But no one else was doing it. Instead, I heard one guy in the back, yo, sit down, faggot. Which, uh, which turned out to be my friend, Joe, which was kind of arousing. But, whatever. You know, that class ended. Got on the bus, sat next to Joe. We jerked each other off to see who could finish coming first. Uh, I won, obviously. I can not I can go on for hours, my friends, so don't try to beat me in a jack-off competition because I don't lose. Anyway, I made it home. Oh yeah, also if you guys want to know how that game works, uh, you sit next to a friend, you put your hand on his wiener, he puts his hand on yours, you jack each other off, and whoever splooges first has to, you know, is a loser and has to clean up and splooge. And, uh, you know, Joe had to do that. So, um, I went home, masturbated into my cereal, ate it, my mom was there, my dad was there, my other dad was there, they all had an orgy in front of me. It was a glorious day, and uh, I hope your guys' first day of school is as fun and memorable as mine was. I hope to talk to you guys again soon. Hallelujah. Uh, grapes and oranges, love you.